turns out that making art is what I do best, and through it I communicate with the world. I've been painting steadily now for about 50 years, so it's almost like breathing. And when I am unable to paint for a while, I feel a little lost. And when I get back into the studio, it feels like I'm coming home. I'm not sure why, but when I'm on a roll, I really get into a meditative state, and I feel as though I'm unaware of time passing. From start to finish, it seems that art takes in a lot of different disciplines, especially my art, which is botanical in nature. So it's science, it's math, it's research, it's history, and uh, even a little bit of athleticism comes in there. You know, I, you might not think it, but a dance is very related to painting. It's the gesture of the line, the rhythm, the grace that's involved. So over life, my life, I have realized, or come to the conclusion, I should say, that the key element to making art of any kind is self-discipline. And that really boils down to knowing your own vision and being convinced of it and then working like crazy the rest of your life to figure out how to get that down, in my case, in paint, and to make it appealing and interesting to your audience. And that's a challenge that I'll never seem to tire of. I'm Lynn Carden, artist, and this is my voice.